grammar, and I'm feeling like a cowboy who got lost in the Amazon rainforest. Oh! Well, gosh darn it. I didn't know I'd end up here. Must have went down the wrong dirt road. <laughs> Is that a leopard? Well, yeah! -ha! You see? Let's come back from that cat attack because I'm here to provide you with all your English grammar needs. Let's get it started. But before we begin, make sure to download the free guided notes in the description box below. The notes and the episode have matching badges that help you follow along with each section. Also, Underline any maroon text that appears in the episode to identify key concepts and key terms. It's the shopping list your mom always forgot to take to the grocery store. Oh. Oh. Grammar goodies, I'm so excited because today we're going to talk about something that really brings things together. That's right. I'm going to be talking all about conjunctions. But before we jump into that, I want to go ahead and do a basket breaker. Uh oh. The basket breaker question is: What are some things that connect people across the globe? Hmm. Think about it. has it, therefore everyone experiences the meticulous pain of learning grammar. <laughs> Sorry, that evil laughing has made me quite parched. In fact, I think it's time that we drink up some radioactive waste. G -g 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 -g. Three, two, one. mentioned before, today we're talking all about conjunctions. But what is a conjunction? Well, a conjunction is a part of speech that joins words, phrases, or clauses together. In a way, you could think of conjunctions as the glue in sentences. For example, you have the seven most basic common conjunctions, also known as fanboys. Fanboy stands for for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. And we use them all the time. Let's see how they appear in sentences. Example, I want pizza and chocolate. Give them to me now! As you can see in the sentence, I connected pizza and chocolate with the conjunction and. It put these two items together. Let's move on to another example. Example. He is me, but he is my friend. In this example, we have the conjunction but putting two independent clauses together. Two complete thoughts. So. Much like their function, as you can see, conjunctions are like glue when it comes to putting things together, whether they are words, phrases, or clauses. Keep in mind, conjunctions aren't just limited to being fanboys. There are different types of conjunctions, like coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions, correlative conjunctions, copulative conjunctions, so many out there. And we're going to go through a few of them today. Whoa! That was a lot of information. Wouldn't you agree, Grammar Goodies? Absolutely. And I think we need to go ahead and practice a little bit more. So let's ask for some employee assistance. 
Oh, so much grammar. My head's gonna explode. I don't know what to do. I need help. We need some employee assistance. For this section, here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to read various sentences. What you're going to do is, for each sentence, underline the conjunction or conjunctions that appear. Think you could do that? Underline the conjunction or conjunctions that appear in each sentence? I know you can. So let's do it. Example, I wanna go on vacation, but do not trust my disorganized platypus to plan it. No platypus, not again. You're not planning the vacation. You remember what happened last time? We ended up in the broccoli dimension. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so gross. Why, why? What's a conjunction in this sentence? Take a second. sentence is but. It's showing the relationship between words, a contrast. I want to do this, but this is the actuality. So but, the fanboy but is the conjunction. Let's look at another example. Example, Stacy and Topher went into the abandoned mansion. <gasps> Oh, I think that abandoned mansion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That abandoned mansion will be safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds great. Okay, okay. <gasps> oh. Ah! Run for it. What's a conjunction in this sentence? sentences and it put together the words Stacy and Topher. So and is the correct answer. Example, he will run or swim in the morning. Oh, it's the morning. Oh, I'm going to run. Nope, I want to swim. <laughs> What's the conjunction in this sentence? Answer. The conjunction in this sentence is or. Or connects run and swim. It's saying that he will do either or of these, but not both of them. whoop -a! Now that you have that into your brains, grammar goodies, I think it's time that we put that to the test by doing an aisle check. <laughs> For this week's aisle check, here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and create an original sentence that uses a conjunction in it. Think you could do that? Create an original sentence that uses a conjunction in it? I know you can. And get to it! I bet your sentences join so many things together without the use of horse glue. <laughs> but really, don't put horses in glue. No. Anyway, let's go ahead and start checking out. Whoa! Grammar 
goodies. What an incredible time. I really feel like we connected. In fact, conjunctions really brought us together. Anyway, my name is Mr. Goody Grammar. Thank you so much for dropping by General Grammar. And come in anytime. I'll see ya. Whoa! Whoa! What are you still doing here? Don't you know that the episode is over? What? Okay, okay. I get it. I mean, I, I know you love grammar. So why don't you hit like on this video? In fact, share it and do a little comment. But mainly, subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed yet? In fact, if you don't subscribe, you could be pulled into an interdimensional vortex. <gasps> so, make sure to subscribe. Remember, general grammar is tons of fun. What are you waiting for? Whoa! Click on another video. Huh? <laughs>